Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some maintenance, uh, repair, upgrade uh, things related to a Roomba. This is a Roomba 650. You often see these called like a 600 series. So uh, what I'm talking about probably would pertain to any of the 600 series Roombas. I don't know if this is the same with the 500 series or the 700 series or otherwise, but maybe it is. But this the 650 here, and I'll put a link in the description to some of the parts I'm going to talk about. And if you use the link, it's affiliate link, and it helps me out a little bit. I really appreciate that if you do that. And uh, let's get started. So I have the 650. I've already started taking this apart. But um, if we turn it over, you can take the uh, bin out here. You can pop this open and get the brushes out. I put replacement brushes in here um, that I order on Amazon. I'll put that link down there. My Roomba came with this kind of uh, cleaning tool, which you could go through and like cut hair with it. And then you can kind of like pry things out with this. That didn't work. It works okay. It's actually good for like cutting hair off of it. The replacement uh, brushes came with this tool that kind of slides over the end and uh, pulls any hair off. This is a pretty good tool. And you run this through multiple times, both directions in it. It's got little hooks in it. It does a pretty good job of cleaning it. Um, you want to probably pop this end off here. This comes off pretty easy. And there'll, there'll be a lot of hair. I've cleaned this one already. But there'll be a lot of hair around here. Um, there'll be hair wrapped around here. Um, so you get that cleaned off. Same thing with the wiper. Uh, this pops off the end. So typically I'll take the brushes out. And uh, you know clean the hair out. You can unscrew this whole mechanism and uh, take it apart. But um, I had a repair to make, that's what prompted this video. And uh, so I'll go over kind of taking this apart. To take it apart, there's uh, four screws here, and you can take those off, and they're captive screws, which is really nice. So they're not gonna fall out on you, not easily. Um, and if you take it off, you have easy access to the battery. Now I've replaced the battery, link in the description, as I've been saying. Um, this is a lithium battery. It comes with a nickel metal hydride. This is a lithium battery. The circuitry in the Roomba is for a nickel metal hydride battery, but this lithium power company has built um, circuitry in the battery so it doesn't, you know, uncharge all the way uh, or discharge all the way, things like that. That You lose some features, um, like when this battery goes dead, the Roomba will stop. It doesn't, I don't think it gives the battery warning. Um, it'll just stop because it will shut off if it releases, if it gets to a certain voltage. And then it has circuitry in here to convert it so it can charge properly and things like that. But I really like this battery. It lasts much longer than the original factory battery. So I put that in there. Um, the, the reason I'm taking this apart is because the wiper, so the kit I bought, the, actually the brush kit came with the brush the, this wiper, it came with the side brush, which actually uses a different screw than OEM. The one I bought did, I don't know. And it came with this. And it also came with the extra filter for the uh, Aero bin, the AeroVac bin. So, um, but I, I need to get this uh, brush gear out of here because the gear stripped. So you take out uh, two screws here, I think it was. Yeah, there's uh, no, three screws. So there's a screw here screw here and a screw here and they're more or less captive I mean they shouldn't fall out very easy um, and you can order this replacement if this breaks so and then uh, there's two screws here for this gear uh, that hold it in and these all just plug right into little sockets so they have spring terminals and um, then I had to open this up because it, it was making a noise you're supposed to use like a tri-wing. I actually just took a screwdriver in the You can see that tri-wing. I took a screwdriver in there and was able to To uh, pry it out or pry it open. Let's see if I can get it <laughs> open again So I was able to get that open Like that And pop it up Oh, yeah, there's a little clip back here, too. I'm going to carefully pry this out because this, uh, imagine this could crack easily. 
here. So, got that open. There's two gears in here, and there was actually like some kind of hair and fuzz in here, which is it's kind of amazing that it was able to penetrate this because there's not a lot of room for it to get in there, but it is a vacuum. So, uh, when I took this gear off, it looks pretty good. I don't know if this will show up on camera, but uh, this gear here is missing a tooth right here. And it was making a lot of racket. So I ordered on Amazon this uh, gear set. It looks like it already has grease on it. So I'll, uh, I'll just replace it with the, uh, the one in here. These just slide right off. And really there's no reason to throw that away. I'll throw that in my vacuum uh, parts bin. Because this gear is still good. I'll replace it with the new one anyway, but if this new one ever broke, I can, I'll have a spare. It looks like there's a new shaft. Looks like the shaft came with the, the gear too, so I'll replace that in there, and then I've got new gears. So, got will clip back on. Like that. <clears throat> and I've got the tri wing screw. I use my standard screwdriver. It's probably not a bad idea to get like a security screwdriver set to do this so you don't damage the screw. Another option is you could take this screw out um, and find one that's a similar match um, and put a different screw in. But this seems to kind of work. That's pretty tight. So, then to put it back together, it just uh, pops in here. And there we go, the Roomba is all uh, repaired and cleaned. And uh, so this is about four years old. I put that battery in there uh, about a year ago and I replaced the brushes I think around the same time and they're going pretty good. But as those brushes get dirty, you can clean them, but they get to a point where they can be so difficult to clean, it's just easier to replace them. So we'll uh, push the button here and there's no more, uh, no more clicking noise, so. Looks like we did a good fix. Well, thank you for watching. If uh, thank you for watching, if this video was helpful, uh, please click that like. It helps me out. Again, I put those links in the description that will help me out. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.